Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, my name is Rob. It's time to suit up and become a superhero in PlayStation VR's Iron Man game. Whether you're getting ready for your first test flight or trying to become the invincible Iron Man and fill Tony's trophy case, it's time for an Avengers level crash course. What makes me qualified to train you? Well, I am Iron Man. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your VR so that it's comfortable for you. I kept all my settings to the fault with the 45 degree snap turns. You might be able to handle fast smooth turning and find that better for you. Uh, I couldn't, I like the snap turns myself. Now all the missions and challenges can be replayed so early in the game don't be afraid to progress and continue improving your skills. You can always come back and tackle these harder challenges, get high scores, get the 5 star rating, whatever it is you want to do, you can always replay it. Now flying is the most important part about being Iron Man. Master this and you'll be able to take on any situation. It's all about using the move controllers correctly. It's a combination of arm position, palm position, head movements, and then pressing the square and triangle to do your snap turns or smooth turning. Pulling the triggers on the move controllers will set off your boosters so you can fly around. And then double tapping one will give you a big speed boost so you can get around quicker. When you get a feel for this, you'll be crushing time trials and repositioning combat in the blink of an eye. But you'll also want to make sure that you're prepared for battle and you equip your suit to match your style of play. Me, myself, I aim to do heavy damage to a large area and take out a group of enemies at one time. So I have both sets of bombs equipped. Combining these two will clear large areas of enemies without having to worry about my accuracy. But you maybe you're into close range combat, so maybe you want to take the auto cannons or the scatter shots. These might be more your speed, especially when you combine these with fist attacks and you're out there punching and blasting things away. Or perhaps you're into keeping a bit of distance with precision shots, focusing high damage with anti-armor missiles. Or you'll take the smart missiles for tapping a number of enemies and pinging them all at once. Of course you can combine any of these two weapons and create a custom loadout that suits you. Maybe you want a close range scatter shot mixed with an area of bomb attack. Or if there's just one weapon that you really like, you can double it up and put it on both of your arms. Now that you've got your suit tailored to match your style, this brings us to the art of battling drones of all kinds. Stark's old tech can be deadly, but knowing your enemy is key. You can hit the war table and learn everything you need to know about what you're going to be facing. Like these little guys, they are small but they attack in a group. But honestly, you should have no issue taking them out with your repulses. They're super weak, but maybe you're tackling invincible difficulty, in which case a lot of them can start ganging up on you. Then you might want to equip smart missiles or smart bombs to take them out in a group all at once. These grave runners are ground tanks that will fire a barrage of missiles that might catch you off guard if you're not looking for them. A quick ground pound will send them flying into the sky and will put you into a slow motion so you can have time to deal as much damage as you can before they land and prepare another attack. I recommend just blasting with your repulses or just getting in there and setting up a combo of fist attacks. These skulls, which you'll see a lot, they have a significant amount of health and they shield up and then ram you. During this attack, they can't take any damage and they're near impossible to boost away from. So, what you gotta do is just get in there and punch them as soon as you see them. Just one, two, three combo. Or if they do shield up and they're about to attack you, wait at the last second before they hit you and then punch in one and you'll send them flying. And while you can do that against their shield, these revenants are the toughest enemy you'll face. They deal heavy damage when they charge up their shots and when they're in a group, they can really put you on the ropes. You need to deal with these guys quickly. They're slow, but they're shielded and then all your shots will bounce off of them. What you need to do is wait until they're about to shoot, then perform a boost dodge, then unload all your attacks on them. If you are dealing with groups of them, while most of your weapons don't damage them while they're shielded up, I have found that bombs will hit them through their shield. And if there is a group of them, you might be able to take them out without ever waiting for them to fire their laser at you. Unless, of course, there are some whites. These little guys are annoying, especially if you don't notice them. They can swoop in and shield up other enemies, which requires you to destroy them first. If you happen to be targeted yourself by them, you will get put in a purple light, which will slow your movement down and make you an easy target for everyone that is attacking you. The good news is they are super weak, so a little hit from anything will knock them out and destroy them. Just like our final drone, 
the Grim Mine, which will home in on you and create like a little vortex that will suck everything in and deal huge damage. You want to take these guys out at a distance before they even get near you because you do not want to get any damage from them as it is quite a lot. Deal with them as soon as you can. You might even be able to knock them into other enemies and use them to destroy some of the tougher guys like the Revenants themselves. Of course, if you're feeling really overwhelmed, you would use your Uni Beam to absolutely destroy everything that is giving you trouble. I recommend saving this for when you know you're about to encounter a large group of enemies. You don't want to waste this on a few little guys. Use this for when you're in trouble. And don't forget that you can still fly around and shoot while it is active. I won't get into the tougher bosses because I don't want to spoil anything for you. But now that you've got all these little tips, hopefully if you haven't picked up the game yet, you are more than ready. And if you are struggling with invincible difficulty, you will be able to tackle it now and set some high scores and show the world who you really are.